Hi guys, so today I created this glowy um, face makeup look. I didn't do anything on the eyes, but you know, if you want to see how to get very, 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 very dewy skin, keep on watching. Um, I'm going to start out with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter, I think that's what it's called. It is. And I'm going to just put that all over my face really quickly. Just pump it out of my hand. Rub it around. Quit laughing. Careful to avoid the brows. Okay. And then, once I have that on, I'm going to take my Benefit Professional and I'm going to put it in the spots where I have um, pores. <laughs> So everywhere, but uh, so I'm just gonna take about that much. <laughs> Why is that a lot, man? That's a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of pores. Not that many. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to put it. I'm just kind of gonna place it really quickly in the areas that I want less pore. Push it all in here on the nose. A little bit right there on the forehead and definitely right there. Can I take the excess? Oh, I did squeeze out a little too much. Mm -hmm. I got it and just put it everywhere else. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a human and I have pores. Um, so I'm just going to rub that in real quickly. And kind of pat it. <laughs> weird laugh and then just rub it on the forehead because I don't want to mess up my brows okay so then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow um, well infallible Pro Glow foundation in 208 and 209 and mix those to get a good base and then yeah I'll apply that all over my face and then now that I've put that all over my face, I'm going to blend it out using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. The long, painful bounce, journey. Bounce, 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 bounce. Of blending out your foundation. Okay, and this has, you know, decent coverage, but not enough for my cheeks, per se. I'll probably add a little bit more there off camera, but... I'm trying carefully to avoid putting foundation all over my eyebrows. The brow stickies. Yeah. Oh my god. The worst part. Okay, so now that I have that everywhere, I'm going to add, you know, a little more of 208 on my cheeks and then I'll be back. I've applied my foundation. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the sh in the shade Light Sand, and then kind of out out here more. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Ten Light. So this I don't like all of it when I have a fake tan on because I'm not like that's really light. So I do couple dots well stripes do a little more over here <laughs> and then I'm gonna take it just right down the bridge of my nose because I like that to be highlighted um, and the cupid's bow we'll go for that yeah boogers <laughs> and then I'm going to take my Maybelline fit me concealer I dropped the tart shape tape put it um, down here more so it's still a little lighter and concealing but a lot less and it kind of I don't know I like this better more coverage then I'm gonna put that on the tip of my nose and right there my forehead and then my chin and a little bit on the cupid's bow as well and then I'm just going to blend it out using this same sponge. And then now that I've blended that out, I'm going to put this um, all over my face. It's the Maybelline Master F F Face Studio Powder. It's translucent. 
Um, it blurs out everything, just don't ever use it in a flash. Oh. Otherwise you'll look like a... A ghost. What's his name? James Charles. James Charles. <laughs> no tea, no shade. Okay, we're just gonna start by um, setting that as best as humanly possible. Because I hate creases. And I get tons of them. Were we all focused for a minute, girl? A little bit. Okay, and then I'm I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the, with the sponge too because it's just I already have it on deck. You like bake your whole face. Well, I think it it sets it best. But I don't bake it. I just kind of slap mm. it on. And I mean, we're going for a dewy look, so I'm not sure why I'm setting my whole face, but I think that my foundation moves a lot if I don't. So. Um, but there's still like a tiny, tiny bit of shine. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> On my nose at least. I'm going to take this EcoTools uh, stippling brush to bronze. And this is good for a dewy look because it's kind of a really highlighty bronzer. <laughs> like it's just got a nice, a nice sheen to it and it bronzes well, you know? Helmet again. Last time I over bronzed. Over contoured. I don't know. Whatever I did. <laughs> Little more. Nothing wrong with bronzer. After that, one moment, I'm going to take my Anastasia contour kit in light to medium and take, I don't know, it doesn't really say shades, I think this is called fawn, I feel like I've seen it enough to know it's called fawn, and then I'm going to take my EcoTools uh, big fan brush, and there's no mirror in this, so give me a moment while I work around that. I'm just going to contour um, under my cheekbones, my forehead, and a little bit under here, under the double chin. Just throw a little contour in there because I need a little depth because I have no cheekbones at all. Nice and bronze. It's blending it out. There's not much left on it, so I'm just kind of blending out the contour and the bronzer. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my NARS Orgasm blush, and it's got like a nice like sheen to it, so that and a lot of glitter. So if you don't like glitter, don't do this at Tab Off the Excess, but just just a little bit of that on the cheeks because it's just really pink, and I don't want to overdo it. And I just pretty much pretty much put it on the apples of my cheek. I don't go much further. Oh, and I'm using this e.l.f. complexion brush. In case you were wondering. <laughs> okay. Um, do something there. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder and Translucent and put kind of, hold on, I'll explain it when I start doing it. Okay, so um, I'm going to put a little right here because I put too much blush and I don't like where it is. So I'm trying to move it a little. It'll kind of mattify the middle, making the sides look glowier, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to bake under my line for like a moment. Under my line. Under my contour. I'm just thinking out loud apparently. Ooh. So now that I've 
my powder to death. I'm not leaving it on for long because I don't want like a big streak here. I think this is just a target brush. They don't have names. It's just a fluffy brush. I'm wiping it off. See? Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Don't wait long. <laughs> Can't see it on camera. Oh. <laughs> that powder took off my foundation. <laughs> oh, this has never happened before. So, um, ignore the big red mark and never buy that powder is the learning lesson. Okay, um, I want to die. <laughs> I'm going to brush off some more because there's a little... Okay, so now I'm going to take um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow, Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and take the shade Summer and, um, there's no mirror and highlight everywhere, but first I'm going to spray my face with my Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. This stuff smells like love. We're going to spray that everywhere and let it dry a little bit before we add the highlighter. <laughs> I breathe it in. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. And then I'm going to take that fan brush again because I, oh my god, this, I want a mirror. Um, I'm going to take that fan brush again by It Cosmetics because it works, it does work well with this. I did it earlier. And take that gold shade and place it. Oh, oh mama! Oh. Lightly. Oh god, that was lightly for the record. Lightly. Trying to not put it as far everywhere, but I'll probably take it just a smidge up here because I've been seeing that. I kind of want to try it. I think it looks kind of pretty and glowy, you know? Oh god, that was not. <laughs> now I'm gonna, you know, you have to highlight the tip of the nose to death. Then down the bridge, sweaty nose. And you cannot forget. Okay, mm. mm. then I'm going to spray my face with this one more time because I excessively set my face and then I'm going to put on a lip color and be back. Okay guys, so this is the completed look of how to get dewy, fresh skin. Um, I personally like to pair it with a gloss because it's nice and shiny and then I do like to have a little glitter on the eyelid too. I don't have very much. It's not glitter, it's just like a, a sheen of an eyeshadow. but. Yeah, thanks for watching.